Hey, Alistair. Did you have a good talk with Morgan? Need something else? Um, n no. I can talk to you later. I just didn't know if you wanted to talk about your chat with Morgan at all. But I'll see you later. We should be heading out soon-ish, right? To Adamant-ish? Ish. We'll talk soon. We'll talk later. Okay. I'm going to go see Blackwall. And, uh... Try not to think of that conversation I'd overheard. Between all them. Wait, is this... Where am I? I need a pair... I need a set... A pair of stairs. I need a set... Oh, there are stairs. I gotta go through this. Here we are. Aha! Stairs! Look it! I can navigate my own fortress. Right? Yeah. Right. Okay. I'm glad Colin's doing better. I'm glad he's starting to adjust to this. I mean, not, like, adjust, like... I don't think he's ever going to necessarily 100% adjust to the lyrium withdrawal. More, I'm just happy that he's starting to adjust to the idea that he doesn't need to take lyrium and that he knows he has my support. And if anybody doesn't support this, I will end them. And I'd like to say right now I'm being dramatic, but I have access to unlimited fireballs and lightning. So no, I'm not being dramatic. I'm being deadly serious. Anybody tries to mess not us up now, for him sister. and... Uh, I know. They're not going to make it much farther. Blackwall, how you doing? This, this is just, it's something to keep their hands busy. I'm grateful you tracked me down when you did. As exciting as wandering the woodlands was, this is better. It's good to be part of something so important. Something that could change things. Well, I'm glad you're enjoying it here, and I'm glad that you feel like we're changing things. I'm pleased that you feel that way. Makes me sound like a Chantry sister, doesn't it? Some giddy new initiate. <laughs> but so be it. I suppose you've earned my loyalty and girlish enthusiasm. You are who you choose to follow. Someone told me that once. Took me years to understand what he meant. Wise words. Blackwell, very, very wise words, actually. There's wisdom in that. It was a chevalier who said those words to me. A powerful man, but never without honor. A true knight. We met as competitors in the Grand Tourney. He left me with that advice before we parted. Put aside his own ambitions to help me win the melee. I don't think I even thanked him. That was a generous act on his part. Very generous act. That was generous of him. He said I stood to gain everything, while he'd lose nothing. When it was over, he offered to mentor me. To teach me to become a chevalier like him. And I, young and stupid, turned him down flat. I just won the melee at the Grand Tourney. I didn't need him. I should have gone with him. Perhaps things could have been different. I mean, maybe, but it all turned out in the end. I mean, it could have been different, not necessarily better, though. Could have turned out to be much worse. You never know what would have happened. Different doesn't always mean better. <laughs> in this case, I think it would have been better. But I'm older, hopefully wiser, and I think I've chosen the right person to walk with. Thank you for chatting, Blackwall. I'll see you in a bit. All right. Good. Fantastic. I've got to see where this heart of a snowy something or other that I need to get is. And then, you know, see what's next. See where we go next. I know is there really much to do until... I mean, I know the troops are almost ready to head to Adamant. So I guess I can do maybe a little bit of helping around and then... Then I guess we pack it up. Still waiting for your... How bracing to be in the thick of the game again. The last time I was at Alam Shiral was Countess Letienne's wedding. There were a dozen affairs, five secret alliances, and a duel between two chevaliers over the vintage of an Antivan port. But until the Duchess was unmasked, I've never seen the Winter Palace in shock. Well, what can I say? We aim to impress when we show up at anything, and uh, the Winter Ball was no... I mean, that that was no different. Uh, but, I mean, at least we weren't bored. I was actually... I was a little worried that we were all going to be a smidge bit bored. No one can say the evening wasn't memorable. They've already begun composing songs about it in Val Royale, no doubt. The game's become increasingly insular in the past few years. Corypheus skillfully took advantage. It's disturbing. So few people in the Orlesian court were aware of the Duchess's machinations. It... 
It's disturbing, but at the same time, not surprising. Just because, I mean, people see what they want to see, especially in Orlay. So if they didn't want to see what was going on with the Duchess, they weren't going to. But I think Celine knew all along. I think she knew that Florian was up to something. I just don't think she knew exactly what. The Empress realized she was in danger. She's always in danger. Those loyal to her should have practiced more vigilance. But let's not lose sight of victory. Your actions at the ball have secured us allies and favors alike. Yeah, well, that's great. But I felt out of place. I don't ever want to go back to another one. So there's that. I kept dreading I'd drop the wrong spoon or step on a general's foot. Well done. Feuds that spanned ages have sparked over less. Really? Inquisitor never underestimates the enmity of those for whom outrage is a sport. Huh. That's actually... I mean, it's true. Outrage is a sport in Orlai, it seems like. That's, uh... Very wise, Josephine. This is why you're our ambassador and why we can't let you go. All right, time to go to the War Council and check in because, you know, stuff. Let's see what happens. Thank you for seeing me in private, Minister Belize. I chastise you for taking me from the party, Inquisitor, but the Marquis throws such dull affairs, it's hardly worth it. I assume you wish to discuss your petition to elevate these du paraquettes to a minor lordship. Tell me, why should I allow you to pollute the Orlesian nobility any further than it's already been muddled? I'm sorry, what? Pollute the Orlesian nobility? Ma'am, I don't think you've really taken a good hard look at Orlesian nobility. You're beyond muddled. You're beyond... I mean, you guys are crazy. I've never met a more insane group of people than my time at the Winter Palace and the ball and everything. And now this? I grew up in a circle. I've seen crazy. Trust me, I've seen crazy. You guys take the cake. But listen... I'm going to throw my weight around. I'm the Inquisitor. You want a favor from me. At some point, you were going to want a favor from me or the Inquisition, and this is your ticket to it. Surely, even a minister could do worse than have the Inquisition in her debt. I am a well-positioned woman. I require something more concrete than vague promises of future gifts. And do not attempt to charm me. I am far too old to tolerate it. What can you possibly provide that will make your petition worth my effort? Just the... Th okay, um... Ma'am. Ma'am, for one, I don't flatter because you might be too old for it, but I'm far too cranky to provide it. Listen, I've got information. If you want some, I will talk to my spy master and get you some worthwhile information. How does that sound? Information. Unless you believe your sources better than agents of the Inquisition. Normally, I wouldn't trust your discretion. But the left hand of the Divine is working for you, is she not? She is. Sister Leliana is a resourceful woman. I could certainly make use of her talents. Very well, Inquisitor. Should you fulfill this bargain, I shall... Raise the Duparakets into lordship. I appreciate it. Thank you. It was nice working with you. That quick little trip to Orlay was fun. Let's never do that again. Uh, what we do for friends, though. It's worth it. This is totally worth it if it helps Josephine and it keeps her and her family safe. This is worth it. I can Those put up with this just because You're I just to hate everything to do with Orlesian nobility doesn't mean that we can't help Josephine. Josie, I, uh, I did the thing that you asked for. I must return to Valrayo to see that everything is in order. Please join me when you can. Okay. Yeah. No, I'll meet you in Valrayo. Okay. Good. That's done. Fantastic. That was easy. I got... That Josephine needed done. And then didn't somebody, I think a runner talked to me when I was coming back in and said Solus wanted to talk to me. Again, I'm talking to Solus a whole bunch recently. Solus, did you 
have words you wanted to share with me or Something wrong with your tea? It is tea. I detest this stuff. But this morning, I need to shake the dreams from my mind. I may also need a favor. I'm sorry. First Vivian, now you. You need a favor from me? What? Is the world really coming to an end faster than what I thought? All right. Really, though? But you don't need anything from anyone. You're known for that. One of my oldest friends has been captured by mages. Forced into slavery. I heard the cry for help as I slept. Um. Okay. Gonna go out on a limb here and say that your friend either talked to you in your sleep or you have imaginary friends or this is some kind of weird magical thing. But ha I have to, I have to ask because there's, there's no other way around this. How did you hear the cry while you were sleeping? When your friend was captured... How did he... she... It. It? It. My friend is a spirit of wisdom. Of course they are. Unlike the spirits clamoring to enter our world through the rifts, it was dwelling quite happily in the Fade. It was summoned against its will, and wants my help to gain its freedom and return to the Fade. Okay. Okay. Fair. This, I should have... I, you really should have expected this, Riley. Why and who would summon it? Do you have any idea what the mages want with your friend? No. It knows a great deal of lore and history, but a mage could learn that simply by speaking to it in the Fade. It is possible that they seek information it does not wish to give, and intend to torture it. Okay, why didn't the spirit want in? I thought all spirits wanted in. I thought spirits wanted to find their way into this world. Some do, certainly. Just as many Orlesian peasants wish they could journey to exotic Ravain. But not everyone wants to go to Ravain. My friend is an explorer seeking lost wisdom and reflecting it. It would happily discuss philosophy with you, but it had no wish to come here physically. All right. Well, I'll help if I can. All right. Let's go get your friend. Thank you. I got a sense of my friend's location before I awoke. I'll mark it on our map. Oh, hot. Okay. Um, sure. Great. Gonna go. Thank, thank you, Solus. All right. Let's go take a quick walk. Think about this for a second. I can't even go into my garden anymore because there are so many people there. Where is the least people-y spot? Is it literally like... Oh, you know what? The tower up top. <gasps> yes, I should have... Why didn't I take that over when we first got here? I don't know. I mean, yeah, it's kind of above Cassandra, but I mean, all these people talking. I don't know if Cassandra can still actually hear me anyways okay so i need to go help vivian and solus and if the locations marked on my map were any indicator it's all the same area so i've got to pack it up take the boys and solus to this place and then see this place is nice why haven't i come here to just think things through oh is there an upstairs too I don't know what the upstairs looks like. Focus, Riley, focus. So, I gotta go do all that. And I think that they were talking about in the war room that that's where a lot of the civil wars hit. Between Orlais and everything like that. So what? Am I gonna go to... Is it still because we solved everything with the ball? What? I don't know. But I guess that's where I'm going next to find out. Everybody kind of looks teeny tiny from up here. Huh. Kind of like that. So yeah, that's, I guess, the plan. We're packing it up. We're going to go to the Exalted Plains. We're going to kill ourselves a great big old monster. We're going to help Solus and uh, hopefully come back home in one piece really quickly because I don't really want to be there for very long. Inquisitor, welcome to the Exalted Plains, a place with a long and bloody history. Even now, the region is volatile. This was a front in the Civil War. Now there's rebels called the Freemen of the Dales, recently emerged and adding to the chaos. 
The Freemen of the Dales, didn't we already meet them before? Or was that a different group in the Emerald Graves? Or is it the same group, different group? Why are there so many different groups of rebels? Can't they just not do this? Uh, this is going to be fun. Can you tell me anything more about the Freemen of the Dales? This rebel group. Tell me more about them. They seem to be simple deserters. Tired of fighting and dying for either the Empress or the Grand Duke. Now they want the Dales for their own. Worse, they're more organized than we anticipated. Lovely. Be wary. I'm always wary. Anything else I should know? What else can you tell me? Scouts have sighted Dalish elves. There must be a clan camp somewhere on the plains. Oh. Oh, maybe I can go make friends with them. All right. Thank you, Harding. I appreciate it. It's good to see you as always. That will be all. Thank you. With the rifts and the undead, the Arlesians have lost ground. Most have been driven back to their forts. We have to stabilize the region, allowing the Imperial Army to reestablish its presence. Good luck, Your Worship. You'll need it. Remember how I said I was hoping I'd get out of here quickly? Uh, I don't think that that's happening. It's not happening, is it? We're going to be here for a while. All right, Solus, first up, we're going to help you and your friend, Spirit thing and then Varric I know is probably still writing to the merchant's guild or something like that in one of the tents we'll swing by pick back up Varric Solus you're welcome to head back to Skyhold or do whatever it is you wanted to do and then we're gonna go hunt down a monster and try to ignore everything else that's going on here probably not gonna happen Ugh. why would you keep me off the ramparts wait wait what about the ramparts is that your fortification? You I'm the Inquisitor. Who do you think you are? <laughs> All right. Does somebody want to explain to me why I can't go on the ramparts? Keep off the ramparts. I wonder why. Let's find out. Yeah, let's. Because that's exactly what I wanted to do. I wanted to be in and out of this place. It's completely destroyed. What is happening here? Ugh. <sighs> I don't know who any- Okay, demons. We got demons floating around now? Excuse you. All right, demons are dead. Are you going to- Okay, you're coming to attack me now. You're gone. Goodbye. All right, so these are the ramparts. All right, listen. I, I know they want us off the ramparts. I'm going on the ramparts. Uh, you, sir, you look like you need help. Let me help you. Uh, guys- Guys, is that the undead? Did I just see undead? Are there undead on the ramparts? So let's, let's go help your friend first and then we'll deal with the rest of this. Did this... Another undead, sir, behind you! He's just standing there. He's just standing there. All right. I think, Solus, you said this way, yes, maybe? All right, let's go this way first. Let's go find out... It's a friend. You said big field of some kind. Yes. Ish. Okay. This way. Forward. I think we're starting to get close to where you wanted to go, Solus. Yes. Or where you said your friend was. Wait. Are those... Halla? No. No, 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 no. You don't touch the Halla. Isn't that what those are? Somebody... I'm not very good with wildlife, but... Isn't that what we were told when we got here that they had wild halla running around oh they're beautiful hi no 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 dorian your undead wolf was trying to kill a halla not not allowing it okay you dead yes okay is that it no there's one more okay good done dead Excellent. Normally, I would not attack a wolf, but these hella are so cute. Hi. Hi, little guys. Oh, look at them all. Do you think, do you think we could take one home? Cullen wouldn't mind, right? Guys, you don't think Cullen would mind if we took a hella home? No? Good. Excellent. All right. Gotta convince Cullen to let me keep one forever. And then that baby dragon that I want eventually we're also gonna have to figure out a way to make sure that the baby dragon doesn't eat the hala it's fine is that elven ruins 
Thank you for this, Inquisitor. For what? We are not far from where my friend was summoned. Okay. I guess we'll keep going this way and we'll look at the elven ruins later. Alright, you said we are not far. So... That's a body. Solus. What is this? One of the mages. Killed by arrows, it would seem. Look at how the arrow's positioned. He was shot while running. I'd guess bandits. Probably. You're probably right. Is this... I mean, we do know about the Freeman of the Dales. I mean, could we technically call them bandits at this point? Probably. What about this? These aren't mages. The bodies are burned and these claw marks. Wait. No. No, no, no. Solus. demon's work. Solus, what happened? Oh, I don't like this. I don't like this at all. I just very, very confused as to what is going on right now. Is that a demon? Is that a pride demon? Yep, it looks like it is. <sighs> My friend. Is a pride demon. Your friend is a pride ah! demon. They... Solus, they turned your friend into a bride demon. Do you... I... It's been corrupted. Can they come back from this, or...? The mages turned your friend into a demon. Yes. You said it was a spirit of wisdom, not a fighter. A spirit becomes a demon when denied its original purpose. So they summoned it for something so opposed to its own nature that it was corrupted. Fighting. Let us ask them. A mage! You're not with the bandits? Do you have any lyrium potions? Most of us are exhausted. We've been fighting that demon. You summoned that demon! Except it was a spirit of wisdom at the time! You made it kill! You twisted it against its purpose! I-I-I understand how it might be confusing to someone who has not studied demons, but after you help us, I can- We are not here to help you! <laughs> Did you really just try to tell us that you were going to educate us on demons? You're a circle mage. You barely have any experience. Like what? How long have you been running for? How long have you been on your own for? Have you lived? Oh, this is rich. This is why mages shouldn't be in the circle. They have no real life experience. They have no idea how to handle the outside world. And then they're just thrown out here and expected to be able to deal with it all. They don't need circles. They need lessons on how to live with their abilities so they can just be productive individuals that's uh no we're really not here to help you we're here to help the demon the spirit not demon spirit we came to help your friend any way to do that now that it's a demon you cannot befriend a demon however amicable it might appear it must shut up you summoned it to protect you from the bandits i yes you bound it to obedience then commanded it to kill that is when it turned the summoning circle. We break it, we break the binding. No orders to kill, no conflict with its nature, no demon. What? The binding is the only thing keeping the demon from killing us. Whatever it was before, it is a monster now. Inquisitor, please. All right, sure, why not? Let's break a binding circle and release the pride demon and hope it turns back into a spirit of wisdom and doesn't brutally murder us all. Sure, why not? That's not the weirdest thing that's ever happened in the last few years. Breaking that circle has to be easier than fighting a damned demon. The summoning circle is part of the demon's current nature. It will certainly attack us as we attempt to break it. Joy. Of course it will. We must hurry! I was gonna walk slowly. All right, you ready? Boys, summoning circle only. <laughs> Don't attack the demon, attack the, the, the pillar things. One, two, no, 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 Bolt, Bolt, leave the demon alone. Solus, why are you attacking your own friend? Okay, guys, can somebody else attack the circle, the summoning circle, the circle? Guys, guys, Bolt, what, what, Bolt, why are you just standing there? Bolt? Okay, guys, stop attacking the Pride Demon. Can I have help here? Guys? Got. 
Guys. 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 Hello? Anybody want to help me with the actual thing that I'm fighting? Instead of a I'm just not even, I'm not even watching. Solus, are you actually fighting your friend right now? Okay, good. Dorian, thank you. Somebody actually listening to me right now. All right. It's fine. It's fine. Bull is just going to keep the pie demon busy. Let's hope the demon is actually alive by the time we're done. Or else this was all for naught. And I came all the way out to this awful land just to get Vivian a monster heart. Uh, all right. We're done. Solus, I'm sorry. I am so very, very sorry. I'm sorry, Solus. Don't be. We gave it a moment's peace before the end. That's more than it might have had. All that remains now is them. Thank you. We would not have risked the summoning, but the roads are too dangerous to travel unprotected. You tortured and killed my friend. We didn't know it was just the spirit. The, the book said it could help us. Really? The book said? Ugh. Solus, I get it. I get wanting revenge for your friend, but you can't kill them, Solus. You can't. You can't do it. You can't just kill them for this. Just let them go. They've learned their lesson. They're not going to make it far on their own anyways at this point. Solus. Never again. I need some time alone. I will meet you back at Skyhold. Fair. Can I ask you two a question? Now the soul is... Why do you turn your back and run away from me whenever I ask you a question? Okay, if I go this way, will you guys come and talk to me now? Ish? Okay. How did Solus do what he did? Did it look like he just released a spirit from its life? That's not normal. Mages can't do that. As far as I know, normal mages can't. It's not really an ability we possess. So, what is Solus? He's not a normal mage. That's been certain, like that, 100%, we've known that from the beginning, but... What? He was able to release it from basically this whole plane of existence. He didn't... He doesn't have an anchor. I mean, theoretically, I could have done that, but not him. Because I have the anchor, right? So theoretically, I could have, what, opened up a rift back into the Fade for it or something like that for it to dissolve into, but... Solus just made it, like, poof. I mean, Cole, maybe? Maybe Cole could have done something like that. But Solus? Guys, I don't think we know the whole truth. Huh. Yeah, I think, uh, I think there's a few very important pieces of information we're missing. And, oh, I will find them. All right, but first, back to camp. Let's go get Varric and let's go see what else we can do while we're here. <laughs>